Can we all read together? Let's go. The company of the prophet said to Elisha, Look, the place where we meet with you is too small for us. Let us go to the Jordan where each of us can get a pole and let us build a place there for us to meet. And he said, Go. Then one of them said, Won't you please come with your servant? I will, Elisha replied. And he went with them. They went to the Jordan and began to cut down trees. As one of them was cutting down a tree, the iron axe head fell into the water. Oh no, my Lord, he cried out. It was borrowed. The man of God asked, where did it fall? When he showed him the place, Elisha cut a stick and threw it there and made the iron float. Verse 7. Lift it up, he said. Then the man reached out his hand and took it. Amen. Um, somebody that was working with an axe head. And all of a sudden, the axe head fell in water. And the axe head was also borrowed. What will you do when what you borrowed is missing? If you had money in the first place, you shouldn't have borrowed it. But now that it's missing, you have to cough and bring it out. Jesus. But thank God for the supernatural. Yes, Lord. Elisha took a stick, placed a stick on top of the water, and the axe head defied every law of gravity, and the axe head started swimming and floating on top. Whatever is your that was missing, yes, Lord, is about to come back to you. Amen. Now, um, today I'm, I'm putting a twist on this whole scripture that when something is missing in a person's life, sometimes it's located in a spiritual marketplace. And today I'm about to take you through a journey about the spiritual marketplace. It's a whole series for about eight weeks. But I'll just give it to you, compress everything to you in the next 25 minutes. And somewhere next year, by the grace of God, I will get time and show you things that happen in the spiritual marketplace. So help me to give the title of my sermon to your neighbor on your left and your right and say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Oh, uh, sorry, that was the wrong neighbor. Turn to the other neighbor. Say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Whatever was missing. Whatever was missing. In the marketplace. In the marketplace. We are taking it back. You take it back. You may be seated. The agenda, their mindset was so amazing. They said to the man of God, where we live is too small for us. We need an expansion. The moment you come to a point in your life where you find yourself in a place where you say to yourself, I deserve more than where I am. That's the first point of elevation. Not until your mindset tells you where you are is too small, you will still remain small. Our mindset has always told us that if big things are big, then it's not from God. Based on our upbringing, especially from the Ghanaian setting, anything that is big, anything that is huge, there is something behind it. But they don't know that the God who serve is a big God. Because a lion gives birth to a lion and a donkey gives birth to a donkey. An elephant gives birth to an elephant and a big God gives birth to a big you. Jesus. So whatever is great and big and massive, hear me right now, is never from the devil. That's why you've got to think big. Because whoever controls your mind controls your destiny. Because your mindset, hear me right now, is the incubator where great things show up. When your mind is small, see yourself with a small life. But if your mind is big, amazing things begin to show up. Most of the time too, what comes up in your mind is as a result of your association. I can check the next five people around you right now and I'll know where you'll be in the next five years. Because what you keep on hearing is a reflection of where you'll be. So they sat down and said, where we are is too small. Man of God, we want to expand. And the man of God said, I give you the go ahead. Go and expand. Today, whoever is supposed to give you a, a go, yes. yes we receive that yes go in the name of Amen. Jesus. Nobody is going to deny you access anymore. Amen. So man of God, we say, go, go. They took the axe head. They started cutting the wood. Everybody is saying and cutting the wood. But when one of them, one of them, in life, there, is always be, there will always be one of them. It takes one person to bring calamity in the family. It also takes one person to break the curse. And the person to break the curse in the family is the person sitting at that corner. Jesus. If one person brought any issue in your family, you are going to be the one 
to break it off from the family. Man. The Bible says when it fell, thank God that when it fell, it was not the end of the case. The moment it fell, he said, man of God, you need to help us. No matter who you are, you're supposed to have a spiritual covering who speaks over your life. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah, it's good. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm a child of God. I believe in God. But who speaks over your life? God has to have a mouthpiece over your life. Yeah, I pray. I pray. Yes, I know you pray, but who speaks over your life? There's got to be a connection. You hear me? Because your connection signifies your collection. Let me repeat it one more time. Your connection signifies your collection. Why? Your connection to the main water source of Ghana Sewage Company is what you cause you co to collect good water in your house. Jesus. So your connection is connected to your collection. And when you are connected, it causes you to collect some things. But the question is, who are you connected to? The man of God said, I need a stick. He cut a stick. Place the stick on the water. And the Bible says, and the axe head that was buried started swimming. How can iron swim? Even a toothbrush cannot even swim. But an iron head full of weight, law of gravity, was able to swim. It means protocol was being broken. Yes, Lord. It means a particular law was cancelled. Jesus. Power of worship, second service. I came to ask you one question. What is the law in your family? Different families have their laws. At this age, you have to get this. At this age, you have to lose this. At this age, this thing is supposed to happen to the person. But I don't care about the law you came to meet. But I came to break off the law. Jesus. Now, anytime a law is broken, don't end over there. When the law is broken, start a new one. Because if you break a law and you don't start a new one, another person will start a new law. Today, I came to see new lawmakers in this house. Man. You're about to say to everybody in your family, yes, in my generation, everybody will stop renting. Amen. Everybody will own their property. Amen. Everybody will do well. Amen. Premature death will not yes, stop Lord. anybody Amen. at all. And hear me, when you start buying your land, this is the good news. It will not end on the way. You will complete the house. And yes, after Lord. you complete the house, hear me, Completing the loan is not enough. You will enjoy the house. Man. Because there are people that have built, completed, but they couldn't enter. And another person enjoyed. Whoever wants to enjoy from your labor. Jesus. Any spiritual calculation is going on. Jesus. Waiting for the day you are not there for them to come and enjoy. Jesus. Let the altar here stop it by the fire. Man. It will not be your portion Man. by the message of God. So no way. No way. So right now, when the axe, when the axe fell in the water, definitely something is missing. And whilst we are seated over here, I came to give you some mysteries that there is something we call the spiritual marketplace. Some say marketplace. Marketplace. One more time, let's go. Marketplace. Now, the two most dangerous places in this world, never forget, is a market and also a junction. Junctions or runabouts, whether it's a three junction or four junction or two junction, so long as it's the intercession of two different locations in the spiritual realm, it's called a spiritual portal. And a spiritual portal simply means a spiritual opening. That's where a lot of spiritual activities happen. Most of you, maybe if you can remember, there are times you have driven around the runabout in the night and you have seen some people doing things on the runabout. And some of you, too, when you were young, you can see the, yourself that some dances, you go over there, and people have put some eggs over there, some eto over there, and some money over there. In the spiritual realm, transactions take place. Now, as a child of God, how do I overcome spiritual mysteries? Because whatever happens in any town happens at the junction. And the second place is the market. The market, you go over there, people are selling tomatoes and banana. It's not just banana they are selling. Behind the scenes, transactions are taking place. Before a person dies, they are sold in the market. Before sickness happens to a person, sicknesses, transactions happen in the marketplace. It's not only money transactions going on. Sometimes people, organs are being changed in the spiritual realm. And in the marketplace, it takes the grace of God to deliver you. So it will surprise you that the two places where you always find mad men is the marketplace. Hear me right now. And the dungeons. Anytime you dream and you find yourself seeing, your, seeing a mad person around you, when you see a mad person in your dream, it is the chief witchcraft of your family. And many people have gotten encounters with mad people that you definitely knew that this mad person was not just a mad person. One young girl, I keep on saying this story. One young girl 
wants to go to Legon. She's completed school about five years. She cannot go. Anytime she wants to try, she can't go. A sister is in the church, one of the Sunday school, I think the head of the Sunday, um, children's department, is Isabella. Saw the girl and said to the young girl, I will help you to go to school. Isabella gave the girl money to go and buy forms at Legon. The girl said to Isabella, I'm excited. Thank you very much for helping me. The girl is on the road, I think on the Splinter's Road. In the night, a man, woman looked at her and said to her, hey, you want to go to Legon? I'll not let you go. She turned again and never saw the person. Because in the spiritual realm, when many people get encounters with mad people, people have had encounters with mad people that when they were walking around, a mad person just saw them and spat on their faces. Because in the spiritual realm, hear me, in the spirit, life, listen, life is spiritual. Things happen in the spiritual realm. And in the marketplace location, a lot of things happen. But in the satanic transactions taking Jesus, place, Jesus. it's very strange. Listen to me. Sicknesses, sicknesses are designed in the marketplaces. Mark chapter 5, verse number 56. In the days of Jesus, Jesus goes to every town. Jesus goes to every village. But it's only the marketplace where they bring the sick people. Let's all read together. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go. And wherever he went, into villages, towns, towns countryside, countryside, they, they placed those who were ill in the marketplace. Shh. They waited because the atmosphere of the marketplace is the atmosphere for sicknesses. So in the spiritual realm, transactions happen against people in the spiritual marketplace. So Pastor Daniel, you want to tell me that right now, I'm not supposed to go to Makola Market anymore. No, I just want you to know what happens over there. As a child of God, you've got to empower yourself. Jesus. Anything that has happened in the marketplace, I came to reverse it yes, by the Lord. power of yes, the living Lord. God. Yes, Number two, human beings, their lives are being sold in the marketplace. In Amos chapter 8, verse number 5. Amos chapter 8, verse number 5. It says, saying, when will the, when will the new moon be over? That we may sell grain. If it's only selling of grain, it was cool. And the Sabbath be ending so that we can go to the wheat market. If it is only wheat, we will be excited. But look at the verse number six. Buying the poor with silver. So the poor is being sold with silver. Pastor Daniel, so it means it's only poor people. No, the answer there is not just poor person. Who is a poor person? A poor person is somebody who has money in their pocket, but they don't know who they are. So if you have $5 million in your account and you don't know who you are, you are a poor person, you can be sold. And the needy with a pair of sandals. Sometimes you can arrange your things on the drying lines. You go over there. You know that where you stay, nobody is there. You go there and something is missing from the drying line. Spiritually, it's in the spiritual marketplace. Jesus. I came to break every agenda. Yes, Lord. Let me see by hand. Anybody here that has had some strange encounter of a mad person before physical and strange encounters give the microphone to them and let them talk to us there are strange encounters they have help the lady over there even right now the lady at the back that lifted her hand and it will surprise you seriously about some encounters of mad people help the lady over there yes yes okay she lift up okay let's go right now let's flow quick let's go yeah uh i step on a foot a back foot yes and she turned and that time i was in a serious um, like dating line, where the guy just proposed to me. Yeah. The mad woman saying, and describe how the man is. He, he described how my fiance is. And and the mad person doesn't know your fiance. No. But the mad person just turned and Ten described and who describe your guy is. Who is the same description? The same correct description, one. He's a white man. He's from England, and it will it, like she will make sure that thing never comes off. And, and what happened? And the man saying today, I don't know where he is. Jesus. Child of God, hear me. So this was not a mad person. Now let me explain something to you about mad people. Sometimes somebody takes your image somewhere, takes your photo somewhere, takes your name somewhere to go and fight you. If they try as much as possible that your image does not show up on their screens in the spiritual realm, they come physical, but they, they come disguised like mad people. Sometimes it will surprise you that in a, a particular area or a particular area or in front of a particular house, a mad person can come and stay there continuously for about five months and vanish. Sometimes they come and sit there to monitor and effect what they did in the spiritual realm. But if there's any agenda of the yes, enemy yeah. against anybody here, I reverse it from the altar over here. Yeah. Shout no way. No, no way. way. Let's go to the next person. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, wow. That's Hawa. That's one of my young daughters from Sierra Leone. I know right now I've heard you are making crazy money. Now she works with the foreign affairs of Sierra Leone. She's a diplomat now traveling all over the world. Amen. Today I'm waiting for all my tithes. 
Amen. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Um, a mad woman once hugged me, and then the same day, a young girl, mad girl, she came to me, and then she pecked me on the cheeks, and then the next day, I lost my dad. Can you believe? A mad woman came to hug her. Then another mad young child came to peg her. Then the next day, the father died. Child of God, hear me. Life is full of mystery. Never move in life with these eyes. Be a child of God who walks in power. Give me another person. Give me about three people, then we flow. Let's go. There's somebody here. Yeah, let's go. One day at my former workplace. I, 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 I want to hear you. Help me to hear. Help me One to hear day at my former workplace, I left my phone at the office. Yes. So when I was sitting in the car, and I remembered I had to go and pick it. So as soon as I got down from uh, the car, I met a mad man. And he just hit me. No, I'm done with them. He just went back with him. And he said, "Fear." And he wow. just ran away and left. Can we imagine the person over there? Yes. Yes. Um, mine was um, when I was pregnant. Yes. I was pregnant and I went to Mokola for my final shopping. So what happened? When I got to Mokola, I finished shopping um, at the mother care. Yes. Just in front of the mother care, I met a madman day and he started dancing in front of me if i go here then he will come there if i pass here he will come and there. you were pregnant yes and then all of a sudden he spat on me like yes and then i said ah what 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 is, what is it he said eh, um, 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 and then all of a sudden the man vanished you never saw the man again. I never saw the man again till I got to Cantamanto and I met the same man there. He started running after me. So I went to sit beside one of the guys that have been making Ohiniba. Wow. I sat there for like 30 minutes and then he left. Wow. I came home in the night and I dreamt about that same madman. He was chasing me and I entered into a gutter. After I finished giving birth, I was diagnosed of cancer stage 3. This is the sister who came yes. here with cancer state 3. And doctors had given up on her, and we prayed for her. And the 18 people that she was diagnosed with, all of them have died. When she came to this church, look at her, she's still standing. <laughs> you didn't clap because she's not your family member. <laughs> so now, have you seen the connection from the cancer? Child of God. The reason why I want you to work in the supernatural is because I want you to be empowered in the spiritual realm. Know who you are. Know who you are. It's very strange that Christians know how to talk, but there's no power. You know all the jargons, but there's no power. Let's give about two people more. Papa. Yes, okay. Let's give it to her. Yes, let's go. So, Papa, my, about my mother. Yes. She told me about the story that she went to Makola, and there was a madman chasing her, chasing her. She was running away. And the madman was like, oh, that's my wife. Call her. Like, like the madman was chasing her. She was running. She was like, oh, that's my wife. After that was the beginning of the breakup with my dad. It was such a horrible breakup. Because the madman said, you are the wife. Last person. Yeah, last person. Help the mother there. Jesus Christ. Yes. I was 18. 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 I on auntie, yes, and I had a dodding, yeah, dodging. Baby, I bear fanu now a fowl. And I see, mammy, mammy, one city. Now, Miss Mikita scanner, so me me fan manu. And I see, mammy scanner, now bang yanqua, for scanner, mammy, ma manu, and I may call ye. Dan Pachomi call ye, me call yali, a serious. Namina, Jimmy, me feel muda, sir. A Lift up your hands. The spiritual marketplace. The spiritual dancings. I empower you on every side. Yes, Lord. Now put your hand down. Pastor Daniel, what are some of the signs for me to know that my life is being attacked from the spiritual marketplace? Number one, these are the some of the signs. With all due respect, if you respect God, can you put your phone on silent for me? If you in case you respect God, in case 
you respect God, can your phone be on silent for me? In case you respect God, can your phone be on silent for me? In case there is a respect to the name of the Lord, if you respect God, the same way you respect the embassy and the consular officer, can you please uh, put your phone on silent for me? Thank you. Amen. Can I continue? Number one. Anytime you dream and you are walking barefooted in public, there's an attack from the marketplace. Number two, strange things get missing around you and those things cannot be explained. You know where the thing was. Nobody knew it. But you go in to check, it was no more there. You dried your things, it was no more there. Not on one occasion, many occasions, spiritual marketplace. Number three, can I continue? When you get a dream and you see that one, one pair of your shoe is missing, one side, either left or right, is gone. Stop it. Number three. Anytime you are there alone, there is nobody there, you are alone, and all of a sudden you hear your name being called. You are alone and all of a sudden you hear footsteps around you in the spiritual realm. A transaction is taking place. And let me give you the last one. Can I give you the last one? Any time you dream, any time you dream, you see that you are in a marketplace that a transaction is taking place. This one, vivid. Now, let me give you the next one. Now, this is what many people are waiting for. Now, Pastor Daniel, what are some of the signs for me to know that the friend I'm walking around is somebody who can take me to a spiritual marketplace? I know I love that friend. She's my friend. I care about her. But behind the scenes, working against me, how can I know? Are you ready? Number one, number one, uh, I, I, I told the first service group that after the sermon, many people are going to block some numbers. Many people are going to delete some numbers. Many people make sure that nobody sees their status anymore. Am I saying the truth? Number one, hear me right now. They are never happy for your good news. That person around you, there's no good news you have ever said that they have jumped with you. When you tell them their face drops, they look at you some way. Number two, they are quickly to go and look for people who just fell out with you. So anytime somebody falls out with you and becomes your enemy, this particular friend go and look for them and become friends with them. Not on one occasion, two occasions, it's many occasions. Please be careful of them. Number three, don't clap here, don't clap here because the person by you might be a corporate. Don't clap here. Don't clap here. Number three, number three. Now, this one, there's a caveat in and there's a clause in the text. So, let me explain to you. This one, this person is a friend to at least four of your enemies. Hear me? If they are friends to one of your enemies, it doesn't make them bad. Because sometimes somebody can be your enemy. But that friend of yours is a cousin to that person. There's no way they will fall out with them. Or it's a brother or a sister. So, if it's one or two, it's normal. But if it is four... Why? Because the number four, four directions, north, south, east, and west, it means every location, they have one connection. And then they ask, don't, 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 don't clap, don't clap here because somebody is feeling guilty. <laughs> number four, can I continue? Yes. Right. Number four, now this one too, there's a caveat in the test and also there's a clause in the contract. So let me give it to you. Can I give it to you? In the physical realm, this friend of yours, you and her or him, you are very cool. Everything is fine. But every day you dream, you are fighting with them. This is the meaning. So things like that, it doesn't make them enemies. This is what you need to do. If in case you have a friend, you care about them, you eat together, you go and show everywhere, you go and sit everywhere, everywhere, you go to Kozo together, go and eat and everything, and chill everything. But anytime you dream, anytime you dream, you are fighting them. This is the meaning. It means subtly, you might have offended the friend and the person have taken offense. So when you dream like that, sit them down and say that, my yobo nibi are fighting me. The last one. This is the best year to hear the best word of God. And this is the last one. They are the ones, this one they clear. They are the ones who always go outside and talk about your bad side, your dirty secrets, and your bad private life. All your good private stuff they have never said to you, to, to people before. But any time they are talking about you somewhere, it's your dirty side. Careful of them. Let me give the last one. Can I give the last one? They never celebrate you. They never celebrate you. Prophet Daniel, what are the prophetic directions I need to do 
in case there's a spiritual marketplace attack against me, what do I do? I have three. I have plenty of them. Where's ACNAM? Where's the media? I told them to write them down for me from the first service because I want to give the same thing to them. I want to give to the same thing to the second service people. I have plenty, and I don't want to give them more than that. I, I want to give them more than that. I'm about to give to, but I told them to write it for me so that I don't repeat myself. I have 10, and I don't want to. Um, it's now, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Number one, number one, take a shoe. On the day of the week you are born, take a shoe. Anoint the shoe. Drop olive oil in the shoe. And put your foot in the shoe and declare that father, anything in my life that was missing, I take it back in the name of Jesus. Number two, you look for a sacrifice, pray on sacrifice, and declare that if any transaction has gone against me, if any transaction has gone against me, Father, have mercy on me. And never ever forget to anoint yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, second service, I'm done. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. I told them to give me the vivid one. Give it, go and give it for me. Now, lift up your right now. Lift up your hands. You the same thing happened at the first service. They didn't want to go. You two don't want to go, right? Do you want more? If I, I promise you, if you open this next year, I will do series on spiritual marketplace for eight weeks. Is that okay? This one I was connecting in the supernatural because you can't do supernatural if you don't know where spiritual things happen. You can't. Lift up your right hand. One prayer. One prayer. Say in a spiritual location, in a spiritual, spiritual location, location, in a spiritual marketplace, in a spiritual, spiritual marketplace, marketplace, where transactions, where where transactions have, taken place, have taken place against my greatness, against, against, my, my, greatness, greatness, against my greatness, against my greatness, against my greatness, by fire, by fire. I reverse it. I reverse it. Anything I have lost, I, have lost, I take it back. I take it back by, authority, by authority. By the word of God. By authority. By the word of God. As I clap. As I pray. Somebody pray right now. This is your only prayer. Reverse it. <laughs>